wild man here how you doing guys hey I'm over here just uh, actually just sitting down ready to uh, uh, cruise around in the truck I uh, want to know if uh, you guys uh, are liking the videos up there on YouTube and please I made a uh, I need some comments put it this way I need thumbs up I need you guys to let me know let me feel that you like the videos and you're enjoying it so I can make more uh, I know I haven't been I've been away for two weeks uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff uh, I'm trying to think of what to uh, put out there uh, I'm not sure hopefully I put in a story mode together uh, it's called Red Redemption so I have part one out there I know it's a bit long one hour I know you guys don't want it, but you can watch little by little here part here part here and it's pretty cool story mode yeah, it's very it's like a traumatic western and a lot of a lot of things happens you know with Arthur and everything and all his friends and you got everything between gunfight riding riding horses and stuff like that but anyway that's out there it's in YouTube right now so go over there and uh, watch it give me 20 thumbs up let me know you like it if you like it 20 thumbs up tell me that you like it I would do more all right, just uh, send all the comments as well. Uh, like the comments. I like to read the comments. I, I'll answer every comment. If you have questions about anything, just go ahead. All right. So, uh, without further ado, uh, we're going to drive. Uh, motors. I'm going to go fast travel to a nearest garage, and we'll start from there and uh, take it from there. Hey Jay, how you doing, Jay? How's it going? Yeah, I'm just gonna record. I'm recording a YouTube videos on how to to succeed in starting American Truck Simulator, especially you know using the bank and how what to spend, what to take out, uh, when to buy a truck. You know, I was at another profile, but the profile for some reason my steering wheel got erased <laughs> so I didn't have time to redo that so with further ado let's uh, go ahead uh, let me fast travel let me fast travel from here where I'm at I'm actually somewhere in what's this oh Idaho that's where I'm at Idaho but let's go in uh, and uh, let me get Let's go to the nearest garage. We'll start from there. These are all my garages right here. Uh, got Carson City, Albuquerque, you know, New Mexico, Phoenix, Bakerfield, Fremonton, Los Angeles, San Francisco. Uh, let's start at. Uh, let's go to San Francisco, Los Angeles. We'll make a trip all the way to. Um, We'll take a trip uh, to uh, Las Vegas. Las Vegas. There we are. That's my truck. Actually had a paint job. This is a Kentworth. I did a couple rides with it. Looks pretty good. Uh, got a little kick. Not too much. But it's good. Got my personal license plate. <laughs> all right so let's uh see where we at in fact let's go in i don't i don't like driving at night so we're gonna wait for the sun to come up change those wheels it goes single wheel I didn't know I had single wheels but it is what it is all right 8 17 a.m. good morning everyone <laughs> I'm offline now Jay I'm offline I'm just uh, uh, let me uh, just trying to put a video together and um, as soon as I finish I'm going online 
So I'll talk to you then. All right. No problem. No problem. All right. So here we are. Let's start our truck. Truck does have a good. Okay, we are in Los Angeles right now, by the way. First of all, uh, starting. When you start when you start truck simulator you're gonna you're gonna get a truck you don't have to worry about fuel you don't have to worry about anything all you need to do is drive do a couple of uh, business and uh, they'll give you uh, like a yard for your truck that's when you're they're gonna start you off with a yard uh, get a truck later on but right now you'll be using other people's trucks so so you're actually gonna be driving for other companies so you get all the money well partial not all of it but you don't have to worry about fuel all right so let me just get a uh, get an upgrade going i want to fix those tires so set up a nearest Time shop to the all right So here we got is, if you notice ahead of me, all the vehicles there, traffic. Turn right. Yeah, this is actually play mode. It's offline. They got two, two things to do, offline and, uh, and online. Online, which is being multiplayer. You're going to be driving uh, with other truckers. There'll be no traffic, no vehicles on the road. It's just you and other drivers. Go straight on. Okay. Now they got rules in the multiplayer as well. Multiplayer, they are uh, actually <clears throat> if you hit something like another trucker or driving fast, they prefer you to do everything by the book, like it's supposed to be for real. A lot of people don't stop the red lights. They uh, disable the um, offensive, you know, like tickets and everything. So you don't have to worry about that. Otherwise, we're gonna continue on here. We're gonna gonna continue on here so we can get these tires done. Go straight on. Right now, my uh, offensive uh, uh, disabled. So if I want to run the red light, I won't get a ticket. But this is. Uh, you know, you just gotta watch the cars, that's all. You know. And let me tell you, you have to watch the cars. Alright. So when you start in the beginning, like I said, you're gonna be driving for other company. And they're gonna get you pick the job what you wanna do. Try to get that the uh, largest amount of money. And then when you drop it off, always pick the uh, most uh, hard to back up. You could do is back up through uh, outside. That's what I do in the beginning until you get used to it. Now, if you, those of you that are real truckers and like to truck, you could actually back up and the regular way where you use the mirrors. Like you see, right, I got my right side mirrors in, is inside so I can Go see the side on. of the truck. It's a little thing so I don't have to keep going like this. And like that, like this, like that. So I actually line up my left mirror so I could see it right out the window there. Uh, then I got my right side mirror. And then in front of me, my dashboard, I like to see my signal lights. Make sure I have the signal lights, like uh, my hazards, SIDS right there in the middle. And my gas gauge is on the right side of the steering wheel. You can see it right there. Go straight on. It's fuel. A lot of traffic. Let's go past these guys. 
is what I mean about not having those uh, options on. At first, they might not let you until you get until you're ready to go by yourself. But like I said, you always gotta watch. It's these cars will jump in front of you. Trust me. You don't want that. You don't want to spend money on on uh, fixing trucks all the time because it gets very expensive. Looks like he's staying there. I think that the light's gonna change. Yeah, there it is. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here before we take our first load. Go straight on. And we were going to do is we're gonna get watch the side, make sure nobody, even though they're X there, they still could come through it. Those are AI vehicles. Get ready to turn right. Truff. Uh, we're over here at the dealership. We're gonna do some upgrading. I just don't like. Uh, turn right. I uh, turn right. He says. It's a camp work right there. Dealership. So we are going to look. So you see those three green things? The one on the right, middle. And the one uh, to the left, where it says a truck. The one in the middle here is the one that you want to, if you are uh, delivering something, you go in there. You want to do a job, you just here we are. go right over Same it. Inside. It says enter, there you go. Then you press enter, and you can find a, a job in here. See, Los Angeles, right now there's no jobs in this location. So right now there is no jobs. Now when you buy a brand new truck, you go to the left, you want to check out the dealership. That's how you go to get the dealership now. But we're going to do upgrade and, and some fixing. So normally I like to go this way. So I got to straight out. Now we are running, this is a Kentworth W900. This is where you upgrade. To upgrade, you fix your trucks. Say I got hit, I like to fix my truck. You go here, press enter. The service, truck configure. These are your upgrades. And uh, if you have a trailer, this is where you where you do the trailer. So we're gonna do a service job. I got one percent on tires. We're gonna do is repair it. Boom! You don't have to do this on your first time because the first time all your truck is going to be paid by the owner of the truck the owner of the business all right so we go out of here now what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade this is your upgrade area now what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade these tires but it's not the tire it's the chassis okay we want not those not those. Okay, not those. Wow, what's the tires? Huh. Uh, what does it want to do? I don't have, oh, I have a sleeper. No, I don't want it. Oh man, it's not going to change it. That's weird. That's weird. I guess uh, we have no choice. Let me see. Maybe we go here. Now these are your tires. I normally use the good tires. So let's go do the good tires. The rims are good. In fact, I, you know what? I want to color those things. So let me just do a quickie here. Not that. That. I want to put that yellow. There you go. Do this one too. Uh, la 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 la. Right here. Yellow. All right. 
it matches the flames. I once you do it on this side, you will it will be on the other side. Okay. The only thing is that I would like to get these dual tires, not just single. But it looks like it's not gonna let us because of the sleeper. That yeah, is what it is. We're going to keep it like that. In fact, you know what? I'm going to put it like that. Oh, we got steps. That's nice. Okay. Yep. we got to confirm the order. It's really much we cannot do. I mean, I've got a caterpillar, a cat. I've got a 625 horsepower in it. 1200 RPMs. I mean, these are both the same. 466 kilowatt, 447 kilowatt. This this right here that we're looking at. Basics, no difference. All right, and I guess we're gonna keep those tires. So, all right, there it is. All right, that's how you upgrade your truck. All right, all right. Let's see, hey JT, how you doing, JT? New style is the Y. But I'm in a, I'm in exactly offline. I'm doing like a tutorial type video. That's why. But uh, anyway, back to the tutorial. That's how you upgrade your trucks. So let's get a quick job. And we move on so we can show you. We're going through right now these quick jobs here. This is what you'll be doing. You'll be doing all quick jobs in the beginning. Uh, this is your bank. You don't want to hit your banks. In fact, I think I got loans out. See, I got loans out. In fact, I'm going to repay all of my loans. I don't like loans. I want all my money. Yes. All right, we got 102000 left. I should hold me up. So you want to keep it like this. If you if you take out a four hundred loan and a hundred, you got to add eighteen hundred with fifty seven hundred. That's a lot. You got to do, and this is per day, per day. You got to pay for that. So stick with the one hundred, like two three hundred. Try to make as much money you can with the other accounts. Once you get at least four hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, you will be need a truck. We are going to go. In fact, before I get along, I'm going to show you the deal. This is your dealership. When you're ready to buy a truck, you come here and you start off with a day cap. I mean, that's all you're going to afford. I mean, look at the money you got to pay. It's 113000 just to truck alone. And then customize. This is where I told you with adding. Now you're going to edit, customize. You could customize anything you want. There you go. That's the cab. It's going to cost you some penny. Uh, but I would suggest for now, do a day cab. For a good amount of time, get some money because you'll do get more money. Keep your eye on the heavy cargo, normal cargo, all this because if you want to do heavy cargo, it's gonna have more money. All right, so let's uh, let's come out of here. I'm gonna show you something else. Yes, you you could you could buy any trucks. I mean, you got ten trucks here, ten Kenworth. All right. You got those day cabs you got with the cabs 
They got some new ones now. These are the new Kenworth that they just put out. Looks like the new ones. So, but look at the look at that. I went to the end. It's a hundred and seventy-seven thousand. All right. So you have to have a hundred seventy-seven thousand. Don't forget. Once you buy your truck, you're responsible for the fuel. Plus, if you took money out of the bank, you got to pay that. And trust me, once you've missed a payment and you don't have enough money, they will take your truck away and then you have to start over. Don't want to do that. Just uh, budget yourself pretty good. Once you do budget yourself, you should be fine. I like this. This is nice. Be nice. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's something. I like red. See what they got with this one. Ooh, look at this one. And then you could just this costs money. Everything costs money. Everything costs money. This would be nice by red. And then this would be yellow. That's a yellow. Oh, that's uh, metallic. Yeah. So those are your metallic colors. It's alright. I don't like it. That's a nice that's a nice color right there. Any Seahawk fans? There you go. <laughs> uh but there you go. That's how you that's how it is. You buy a whole for just one single color. Red, which will be my color. I like red. And then you got the multiple which you got on the metallic. Uh, there's a metallic probably but that's how it is but like I said it costs money so once you get the money you could say that saying once you get the money you got the power <laughs> to buy anything you want so all right there we go that's how that's the dealership so you saw the dealership you saw the upgrades over there you can upgrade anytime anytime and fix your trucks if you ever had a fender benders or hit something or somebody hits you yeah you got to fix it but remember it costs money all right let's go get a job i got a small job <clears throat> now because i got my own truck i could go to freight you could go cargo cargo is when you have a trailer I do have a trailer, but that's another story later. Uh, external contract. That's if you want to <clears throat> be in the world of trucks. You'll sign that. You'll sign up once you sign up for uh, the game system. And then you just go ahead and sign up for World of Trucks. And then uh, you'll be able to do World of Trucks. And the World of Trucks actually holds a uh, logbook for you. And holds every mileage you have drove it, driven. Just like... Uh, the other book that I was using for um, multiplayer uh, trip books, I think they call it. But yeah, and but right now we are going an external market. External market means cargo market. So if you have a box, you know, a trailer, your own trailer. This is for your trailer. This is for anything else. <clears throat> Being that I only have the truck. We're going to go for a uh, freight market. So now, every dot here is a, is a city. You know, Phoenix, Camp Verde, you got Kingman, you got the Grand Canyon. You want to see the Grand Canyon? Go right here. Grand Canyon, you could, it's like being over there. If you got good uh, good video card. Oh my God, this is nice. Anyway, we are Los Angeles, so let's get a let's get a job here uh, we want to go to Las Vegas let's see if we got anything Las Vegas da, 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 da. Yeah, it looks like we don't have nothing in Las Vegas it's a short trip uh, we go near Las Vegas I think this one goes near it Oh, that's in New Mexico. It's pretty far. Uh, da -da. That's Arizona.
All right, let's go to let's go to Phoenix. That's a small truck, though. I like to have a long truck. All right, let's go to Bakersfield with a double. We'll do a double. No, in fact, you know what? I think that's not a double. No good. We go to Bartow. Here you go. Single truck. All right. These mean something. This is fragile cargo, which pays more, more money. You look for those. Don't forget, if you're in level one, the money's gonna be low. You gotta build it. So stay, stay without a truck for a while until you, till you collect a lot of money, like I did. And then once you get that first truck, you work yourself up. <clears throat> the level that count. All right, so we're gonna take this. Okay, here we try go. Something else. Uh, the skills. These are your skills. Uh, once you level up, you get a skill box. I got them all. So <clears throat> you want to work on either the high value cargoes, fragile cargoes, and your hazmats. All right. Those are the three that you want to work on first. Then you're going to work on either just-in-time delivery or long distance. If you like long distance, you go long distance. Uh, but if fuel economy, save that for last. Yeah, really, you don't you don't see much about fuel economy. I don't see it. So I waited to last and get everything first and fuel economy, I went last. But that's up to you. You go, you roll your way, that'll be fine. The only thing is is how to make money. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go ahead and get our get our trailer. Alright, you also could could do is roll down the windows. Oh, did I roll down the window? Yeah, this one's backwards. That's my right side window. You can see it, barely see it. You guys see the sound? Watch it gets quiet. Go down the front window, down and up, all the way down. It's noisy. Roll it up, get quiet. Pretty cool. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead. Uh, we're gonna go and take care of this job before they take it. Sometimes you gotta get there before, before somebody else takes it. Build your, build your stuff first. I, it's sometimes when you, when you play a, a computer offline, this is what you get. Traffic. If you don't want traffic, go to multiplayer. Uh, you got to download it as a mod. Multiplayer is a mod. You could put mods in here, <clears throat> but you cannot take it to multiplayer. <laughs> Not all mods will work. Straight, you get a lot of errors. A lot of people experience uh, errors because they play single player. That's why I don't want to. I want to develop another profile for just multiplayer only. I mean, I don't mind the traffic. Makes it look real. Waiting and it's red light, wasting time, and the red light's taking forever. Yeah. Wow, let's go, let's go. I'm bobtailing, so I'm pretty, pretty quick when you're bobtailing. Now let me tell you, once you get something heavy, you will feel it, especially when you break. So go straight careful. on. This is Los Angeles, a lot of vehicle. And trust me, these vehicles, they act the way, the same way they act, act here. Uh, 
blow the horn. Break. Wow, these guys are going so slow up top. Keep right and then turn right. Uh, we gotta turn right in turn and red right. light. This is crazy. I'm going to take the uh, shoulder here. I'm going to make a right turn. You could do a right turn on red. Let's be careful. Remember, you have, if you make a right turn on red, you have a trailer. So it will take a lot of room. And off we go. As I said, when you're bobtailing, you gotta watch your speed, uh, watch the speedometer, if you look at my right side, you see it's red, it says 52, 50, that's your actual speed you're going, so below it, below the flag, is actually the actual speed, I mean the speed limit, okay. Like I said, be careful what you spend because your money will go fast. Turn left. Especially if you have it on, if you have uh, offensive on, all those tickets. Going through a red light is called penalties like 600 to 1,000, sometimes 1,600. It depends how many tickets you have and it depends on the officer that's giving you the ticket. <laughs> Almost there. It's just up here, and then Keep we're gonna right go and, and drop it off. Right. Turn right. And we'll try to be on. Try to use your signal lights uh, when you play multiplayer. Oh, I got up to the curb. Turn right. Right here, charged. That's supposed to be Best Buy. If you had a mod. But right here, when you, you come in, you'll see this green thing. We'll look for it. Guidance is now finished. You go over it, press enter, you, you get your freight market, and you'll find your thing. This is already highlighted. This is what we're going for. So we're going to take the job. As soon as you come in, you'll see the arrow. See it white? Okay. And the, the ground says that green trailer right there we're getting. I think it's the green trailer. Yeah, so let's go hook on it and then book. Go hook and book. And what I'm using for looking back and looking to side, that's my mouse. I, I do have a steering wheel. And it's actually the Trustmaster T150. I I do I will get one. They don't don't know go no cheaper than the Thrustmaster T150. I did. And let me tell you, T50 will actually be like real. They got the force where if you're making a right turn, you know sometimes you're making a turn and you're going too fast and the and the steering wheel gets stiff. That's how the T150 feels. Alright, we're underneath. We we'll press T for trailer. There we go. Thing gets up. We are ready to go. So we already got our GPS. We hooked up. Now let's get going. Like I said, once if you're doing uh, multiplayer, use the mouse to go back and forth to look. Uh, configured your problem there'll be another I'll make another video on how to configure your stuff but 
people are different. Turn left. Um, everybody has their own style of driving or style of uh, the keyboard. Because you need to use the key turn left keyboard and the mouse. That's a must. If you have a steering wheel, yes, you're gonna be using. Are you gonna have a new route? Your steering wheel has buttons. Keep left. So you configure those buttons for the left. stuff that you use most. Of. Okay. Turn left. So we are on our way to Bakersfield. Go right to the highway. It should be Route 5. You'll get used to those too. If you're a real trucker, you know how to memorize all those all those routes. So that way you don't need to uh, GPS. But it's gonna be hard. <laughs> Trust me, it'll be hard. I gotta make a left up ahead. Let's take it to the left. Remember, you got a trailer now. You could feel the weight. Keep left and then turn left. I feel the weight on the back. Turn so left. Let's go take a left turn. Be careful your turn might not. You don't want to jackknife or turn over. Take it off, you don't have to worry about fines. Get your job done quicker. Multiplayer, they want you to do it the right way, which is what I'm doing right now, stopping for the red light, uh, and then go. But if there's not that many trucks out there, a multiplayer person, just go for it. Do your thing, get the, get the delivery. So F6 on the keyboard, let's show you the cargo, which is electronic components. That's what we carry. It goes to Bartow, not Bakersfield. We're going to Bartow. And it tells you how much you're going to make. You're going to make $6,818 on this train. Right. Put it back. Go straight F5 on. to put it back. miles to go they'll be there in two hours and 51 minutes it's not actual time it's virtual time so don't worry two hours is going to be like maybe five or ten minutes go straight on you'll be making a left according to the gps I keep looking to my uh, mirrors. I'm always looking mirrors. Watching my trail in the back, making sure it stays within the lines. Keep left. I won't and hit then anything. turn left. Turn left. Uh, I know it's a right turn on red. I mean left turn. It's not bad. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun, this thing. Uh, we got a red light here. We got a bus in front of us. Like I say, you feel the weight. Oh, man. He wants to make a left. Who's going to make the left? This is why some of us, 
streamers like to do multiplayer. You don't want to deal with the train, uh, uh, the, the computer's tra the AI, AI uh, computer. any questions just put it in the comments below I'll answer any questions you want uh, but I think the whole idea is to make money and level up uh, you want to level up so what I'm going to show you next is how to level up quickly you know don't just go over there and there and you're there and you press the first one because you're not gonna get level up. You want some things to level up. Also, Turn right. be careful if you hit anything with your your uh, with your uh, truck. You could damage the Turn trailer. Right. When you damage the trailer, that's points away from you. Like if you go on the curb. Oh, really? Because you could have see a trailer there. And I always do is go to the middle lane. I don't know what that bus is doing, but back and forth like that. California speed limit is 55. So be careful. Like I said, I don't have the offense. So I just go ahead and go. There's the outside view. Very hard to drive out here, you gotta get used to it. Once you get used to it, you'll be fine. You know, it's hard to get it steady. Very, very sensitive. Yeah, go Never, never, never stop to help strangers. You never know. Just kidding. Nothing happens. But if it's real life, be careful. Ah! Oh, I made a fun. Anyway. Hey, if you look at the distance now, we have an hour and 40 minutes to go.
get in your uh, garage, your truck, you got money. You have to buy a truck, don't forget. You have to buy a truck for each driver you hire. Uh-oh. You get this a lot too here. Look like we got is a detour. Wow, look at that trailer. Oh, wow. Look at that trailer. Mind, I'll find a new route. Must be too heavy in the middle. See that? No, too heavy in the middle. So, go straight on. So right here, we're gonna go straight, right, in, right back into the highway. Time I just went through the stop sign and I got Tebow and I'm talking about multiplayer. I thought there was nobody there and all of a sudden there was. Alright, we're coming in and the first thing we're gonna be looking for is the green color entrance. And there it is, it's coming up. Go. That's what we're looking for. We at the rail yard. Fine. We are here. Now, this is what I'm talking. Now you can do this one, the first one, but what you get? Zero XP, exactly. And you don't want to go there. See, it just they just grabs it off you right from here. You skip everything. The next one. Is let's play it safe. 15 XP. All you have to do is put it in the box right in there. Now, what you want to do just to do upgrade your XP. Look at that 90 XP. Look at where they want it in that corner. And I think I know this this area very well. This is the hardest one. You want to try to do this. If you can't do it. They'll ask you to do this, and you can get out of it. So don't worry about it. We are actually going to do the hard one. I want to show it to you. That's all the way in the back. So basically, when you go over there, you can try to back it in, but it's too hard. What you want to do, if you remember this next time, let's see if I can see it. You gotta go all the way up there to your left, left hand corner. So what you're gonna do is, what you wanna do is, you wanna back it in. Back it in, see it? See on top, see it's blinking white? That's where we gotta put it. 
this is the best way to doing it. I'm gonna show you how I did it the other way. And let me tell you, it was hard. And especially if you have a a long trail, a long tractor like I like this one. This was a pretty long one. Start straining it out slowly. Turn straight. All right, so you want to strain that out. That's why it's 90, 90x speed. It's pretty hard. I mean, you, you want to just try real fast and get out of it. That's fine. But you're not going to get the XP. The more XP you get, the better you can finish those skills. And once you finish those skills and your level goes up, that's when you're going to start making more money. The higher the level, the more more the loads grow. The more you get. Alright, so we're gonna back this in. You can actually, once it starts turning, you can strain it out. It'll turn for you. You wanna strain it out, just strain it up. Then stop, and it'll start. Train it out, let it turn. Okay, so we gotta make the U turn there. That's fine. Remember, you don't wanna hit that, nothing. You don't wanna damage the trailer or nothing. Alright. Alright, go from this. Now, see how tight it is over here? Now, if you would have gone forward, you would never strain it out. I tried it, trust me. So what I do is I go straight, try to strain it out. Give yourself room on the left side on the left side. So go like towards the middle. Now you start turning backing up and start turning it. Now turn a little bit and just go straight. Straight back to track the straight back. Let it turn. Let it turn by itself. Nice try to stay with it. Now you gotta straight it straight. Okay, not gonna hit. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna straighten it out a little bit. Right there, that's good. your truck in the front. Yeah. Start straining it out, turning it. See? Just there's no time, so you could do this as much long as you can. Just get your XP. See, you don't touch anything. Now all we want to do is strain it out and put it in that corner. So what you want to do is just go straight up. Keep going all the way back. Even though you're not on it. What you want to do is strain it out. All right. Do is strain it out. Watch your front. All right. Now 
And remember, once you get it start turning, start straightening it out. It'll straighten it out for you. Watch your truck. Remember, it's the trailer is the one that needs to be there. Alright? Alright, it's the trailer, not the truck. If you want, you could go up and try to hook it up. No need to. Once that trailer is in that box, you are fine. Once you get that green light come up, there you go. You're done. brakes all right so and then you do a T so that's how it is done because if you go straight ahead go forward in that corner over there and try to break it up it ain't gonna work you need to come in straighten it out straight straight back all the way go forward again and then come in and turn it in and just turn it all you want to do is get the container in the box. I mean, it's good to have the truck in the box, but you could do that. It's up to you. All right, then we dust T. They're going to lower it. And it's excellent. And they'll give you your base reward for how many miles. Remember, it goes by miles too. And then remember I told you about the, uh, the level 40. It depends on what level you're on. The more money, the more level. You go here. Now, fragile cargo. Remember, I told you fragile cargo. We in, we in skill level six. We at the end. So that's with another thousand. And then the experience points. That's your reward for the mileage. This is your uh, fragile skill report. And then this is the tra uh, trailer maneuver. Ninety XP. So basically, I didn't put the whole tra tractor and trailer in the box. It's just the trailer. Once you have the trailer in there, you get, still get the 90. That's 352 XP. I'm in level 40. That's why it's not much. And that's it. And then if you want, you could grab a job from here. There's two trailers. One's going to the Grand Canyon. The other one going to Kingman. All right. So uh, other than that. Hey, big. No Taz. I right, um, and that's how we roll. We do it. All right. So we just go back. Now we already detached it. And the trailer stays there. Track this off. And you get ready for your next job. All right. If you want to get those trade, if you say, "Oh, I could have gotten that Grand Canyon," you could also go back here and actually go on this to pick the trailer you want. You could hit it again, freight, and there you go, Grand Canyon. See, it's the same thing. If you say, "Oh, ooh." I wanted that Grand Canyon, but that's how uh, that's how it is. All right, so I hope everybody enjoyed the video, enjoyed that that tutorial. It was great. And uh, if you want to take a picture of your truck, you can actually line it up. That's the way it is. Take the mirrors away. Take these away. Uh, wait a why am I going outside? Hang on. <laughs> Hold on. That's the mirror. There you go. And if you want to take a picture of your truck, F10. Close up. F10. And you snap away. Try another one. F10. All right. And 
that's how it is. And that's our video for today. Thank you guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And don't forget if you just subscribe, if you're new here, just hit the bell to so get notified for other videos. I will be putting more videos like this uh, here and there. But go ahead and check out the Red, De Red Dead De uh, Redemption. Sorry, I can't even say the word. Uh, got that story more. See if you want to see it more of it. Let me know. Put it on the comment. Don't forget, thumbs up for a like. If you guys enjoy this video. Thank you once again, everyone. Thank you. Don't forget to wear your mask out there. Be safe out there. President now, our president we have. He didn't want to wear his mask and look what happened. But if you wear your mask, it won't happen to you. Hopefully. Alright, be safe out there. Take care. Have a good one. God bless. See ya. Peace.